There are eight models of Ride One Up electric bikes, and we have them all here in this video. We're gonna help you decide which Ride One Up electric bike is right for you. Hey everyone, Ryan from Me Bike Escape. And JT from Me Bike Escape. And one quick favor before we get to all these models, if you are looking to purchase any Ride One Up model, please consider using the links down in the description. All purchases made after clicking those links help support us here at E Bike Escape. And if you are shopping for an electric bike, maybe you need some accessories, check out in the description our link to our most popular electric bike accessories. And also check out some of the accessories that we offer ourselves at shop.ebikeescape.com. Stay tuned until the end of the video where we're gonna each give you our favorite Ride One Up electric bike. And I wanna hear down in the comment section below, out of all of these models, what is your favorite? And to get started, first we're gonna talk about the brand as a whole, and then we're gonna jump into each model, talk about what the use case is and why you might wanna consider it. So to start out, Ride One Up was founded in 2018, and first and foremost, they are a value price brand. What that means is that dollar for dollar, we feel that you get more e-bike for your money. To achieve this high dollar for dollar value, Ride One Up is a direct to consumer brand. And sometimes when you receive a model, it requires a little bit more assembly than your average bike. What that means is that sometimes you have to install a front fork, hydraulic disc brake, a crank arm, things like that. And we've actually done a couple of assembly videos with our professional mechanic here in town. You can check out that those videos. That'll give you an idea of some of the assembly required. And just a note on some of the models, the box is surprisingly small, which helps them reduce shipping costs. And that's why you have to do a little extra assembly. And that savings that you get, they get on shipping is immediately passed on to you and is why some of these bikes are have better quality components and better features than some others on the market. Next, it's important to note that the company started with commuter electric bikes. So a lot of the models behind us here have now gone through multiple iterations. They've been improved over time. And it wasn't until this year that they kind of deviated from that, which I was personally excited about because we got to review some super powerful electric bikes that we're gonna talk about. But generally, if you're looking for a commuter electric bike, you have to consider the Ride One Up lineup because they just have so many models to choose from if that's your use case. Along with that range of variety of use cases, they also have a variety of prices. So starting all the way down here at 1095 and going all the way up to 2395 for the Rev One. And whether you're picking the Rev One on this end or the Roadster V2 on that end, all Ride One Up e-bikes are capable of class three speeds up to 28 miles an hour. And that's simply not something you see, especially at some of the lower price points. So that's another thing that makes Ride One Up special. Next, when you're on the Ride One Up website, you'll notice that most of these models have two frame variations. And just generally, if you opt for the step through frame model of whatever Ride One Up model you're looking at, it does come with swept back handlebars for a more upright riding position. You'll note that as we go through these electric bikes, most of them are step throughs because that's what I recommend the most and they seem to be most popular. And just another small note on their models, all of their electric bikes have small LCD screens, which we'll show off in a little bit. And with that, I think we should dive into each model. Start with the Roadster. Before we jump into the close-up of all these models, we are sharing the non-sale prices for all these models. Chances are that one of these models is on sale. Be sure to check the links in the description for up-to-date pricing on all of the e-bikes. Starting out, we have the Roadster V2. Now this is the gravel edition Roadster, but the base Roadster V2 comes in at 1095. The model you see here is the non-throttle gravel edition, comes in at 1245. And then there is an option for a different display that has a throttle, and that comes in at 1345. Why you might want to consider the Roadster V2, first and foremost, has to be weight. This bike is extremely lightweight, comes in at right about 30 pounds. It has a small motor in the rear that is capable of propelling you to close class three speeds we mentioned. It has a belt drive system, so there is no mess, long maintenance intervals, and will really last the length of the bike. And from my perspective on the Roadster V2, I really like the gravel edition, even if you don't plan to ride it on gravel, because the wider, knobbier tires give you increased confidence, even if you're riding in urban environments, and you also get upgraded to mechanical disc brakes. Ryan mentioned upgrades there. The base Roadster V2 comes with a much smaller, non-knobby city-style tread, as well as mechanical rim brakes. 
Now, the Roadster V2 is a very sleekly designed frame. It has a road bike style, and it's really meant for inner city commuting, small commutes, things like that. The battery on the Roadster V2 is a 36 volt, seven amp hour battery. It is removable, but not easily. You have to unbolt things from the bottom, so just keep that in mind. And if you wanted to extend that range, Ride One Up even offers an additional battery that mounts right here to these cage bosses, and it'll provide you an additional seven amp hours to really double the range that the Roadster V2 is capable of. Next up, we're gonna jump up a little bit to the Taurus. Next, we have the Ride One Up Taurus, which came out early 2023. This bike actually replaced the Ride One Up Core 5, as well as the 500 series and they really updated it to a more modern, sleek design. They build this as their powerful adventure touring style electric bike. I really view this as their most entry level commuter style electric bike that still has some nice upgrades. The bike comes in at $1,295, so you're getting a lot of value with this electric bike. You can see we have the step through, which is more of a mid-step, and again, as we mentioned, this bike comes with the nice swept back handlebars for a more upright riding position. Now the main specs of this bike is it has a 750 watt sustained motor paired with a very nicely 12.8 amp hour battery. The Taurus also adds front suspension and one thing that I really like about this bike when they announced it is that it comes with zoom hydraulic disc brakes simply a feature that you don't often see at this price point you also get a couple accessories like the metal fenders front and rear and as well as a integrated front light the lcd screen is their simple black and white display monochrome and like a lot of the ride one up models it has a left hand thumb throttle and the reason Ride One Up is calling this a little bit more of their adventure style electric bike, yes, it has the front suspension, but it also has these really nice Kenda tires, which have some knobs on here. So if you wanna go and do some light off-roading, perhaps some crushed gravel paths, this might be the bike for you. Next up, we have the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser, priced at $15.95. They describe this as an upright, casual electric bike. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the most underrated electric bikes in the Ride One Up lineup. It certainly has a lot of unique features compared to some of the other models. It comes with a 750 watt motor with 60 Newton meters of torque, like a lot of the models that we're gonna talk about today. And I should also point out on this specific Cafe Cruiser, we have quite a bit of accessories. We have some handlebars here because Ride One Up sells a passenger pack. It also has a Thule Yup Maxi window. This Rear rack has a capacity of 150 pounds, which makes it unique for carrying cargo. We also have some optional accessories like a mirror and a bell, and actually a stem riser here to put the rider in even more of an upright riding position for perhaps taller riders. But on the note of accessories, let me grab the battery, which is not in. Maybe you're traveling with a Ride One Up electric bike. Check out the bike case battery bag that's waterproof and fire resistant. You can check it out at shop.ebikeescape.com. And the smaller bag of the two fits the 15 amp hour battery absolutely perfectly. The battery sits very nicely into the frame. So they've really thought about comfort on this electric bike. We have 26 by three inch wide tires, which give you much more stability on the road. I really like this tire size. You obviously have the front suspension as well. I already talked about the very swept back cruiser style handlebars, which really set it apart from the rest of the lineup. This is the mid-step version, but you also can get it in the high step. And overall, this is an electric bike for cruising along, but can also double as a cargo electric bike with its high weight capacity. So check out the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser. Next up in the Ride One Up lineup, we have what we consider the fully loaded commuter, the 700 series. This bike comes in at $16.95. What you get for that price point is you get a included rear rack, front and rear light. You get a hydraulic front fork. You get very nice city treaded tires here metal fenders, Tektro hydraulic disc brakes, a color LCD display. The mirrors are not an included accessory, just something we have on this, as well as you get a very accessible step through frame here. This goes quite a bit lower than the mid-step we saw in the Cafe Cruiser and the Tourist for that matter. So if you need a little bit more of a step through frame, this is gonna be a much better option for you. 
we have a 750 watt rear motor, which is capable of producing 60 newton meters of torque. You also get a slightly upgraded Shimano Acera rear derailleur. And the battery that comes included on the 700 series is a 15 amp hour battery. A few other things that I'll call out. This is the step through model. So we have the nice swept back handlebars. You also get an adjustable stem. And I just want to reiterate the Shimano Acera derailleur because that's just something that Ride One Up likes to do is you just get slightly better components. Again, with the shifter, you're not getting the super basic Shimano Sys Index shifter. This is a trigger shifter that we see on a lot of the models from Ride One Up. Instead of stepping up, we're actually gonna step sideways to talk about the Ride One Up Limited. So this e-bike comes in at the same price as the 700 series, $16.95. But what you get for that is you get a torque sensor. Now that's a big change from your typical cadence sensor. For anybody that doesn't know, the difference between a torque sensor and a cadence sensor, a cadence sensor is like an on-off switch. So if you're pedaling, the bike is providing power, where the torque sensor is actually capable of measuring the amount of strokes that you're putting in and amplifies that based upon what pedal assist level you're in. What that translates to, to sum it all up, is you get a more push pedal bike feeling versus an on-off cadence system of the other e-bikes. It really provides, if you're a cycler, it provides a much more intuitive and comfortable riding experience. The other thing that sets the limited up and out is going to be this air front fork. Every other bike has a hydraulic front fork, and so it's not really adjustable. It does have some dampening adjustment that you can tune, but an air fork can really be dialed into the terrain or the rider with a lot more ease by just changing the air pressure. Other than that, the Limited is set up to be a great commuter bike. It does not come included with rear fenders, but it does come with some really nice WTV Groove E City treaded tires. And then there's the motor. So the motor on the Limited is also a 750 watt motor, but it's capable of producing 95 newton meters of torque. Be sure to reference our review of this bike that I rode. It was really a fairly robust motor and it had no problem getting me up the hill on throttle power alone or by pedaling, of course. Some other things you get with the Limited are gonna be Tektro hydraulic disc brakes. Quick note, these do not have motor cutoffs. On torque sensor e-bikes, we don't tend to see motor cutoffs as the torque sensors are very sensitive and they're capable of cutting the power more quickly than you can on a cadence sensor. You do get a trigger shifter like we found on the 700 series, a color LCD display and locking ergonomic grips, as well as we have with the step through a swept back handlebar set versus the typical high frame that you would see this bike would come with straight handlebars. And then coming down here, we have a nicely integrated top exit battery. This is a 14 amp hour battery, just a little bit smaller than what we see on some of the other Ride One Up models. But being that you have a torque sensor on this e-bike, it's gonna be able to adjust the power more quickly. So you should be able to get equal or just a little bit more range than you do on a typical cadence e-bike. Overall, we think the Limited is really gonna be the right choice for you if you value the pedaling experience that the torque sensor can provide, as well as a adjustable front fork with that air suspension front fork. And this may be more than other electric bikes at its price point with that air fork. You might not wanna use these more city oriented tires, but I have seen people upgrade these to more knobbier tires to make it more capable off-road. And that's helped by the air suspension fork, which is a higher quality component. Next up, we have the Ride One Up Rift and is really any e-bike company complete without a fat tire electric bike. This was Ride One Up's second foray into different models out of commuter electric bikes. Of course, this is the bike that you're going to buy if you want to basically do anything adventures off-road. You can also use it for commuting. Some people just love the look of fat tire electric bikes, which I can't blame them. And in true Ride One Up fashion, it comes in at a price of $18.95 where you're getting a lot of value. This is the step-through version of the Rift, which is very accessible. The main highlights though of the Rift and what differentiates it from other fat tire electric bikes is one, the motor, 750 watts, I don't know what it's peaking at, but check out our full review because it is very powerful and handled our hill climb test with ease. The other thing you get is this nicely integrated rear rack with a high weight capacity of 150 pounds so you can carry lots of cargo. And another thing that set this electric bike out from other fat tire electric bikes are these LBN quad piston hydraulic disc brakes. Not something that we've seen at this price point. Beyond that, it has a lot of similar features from other Ride One Up models. We have the color LCD display, left-hand thumb throttle, locking grips, plastic fenders, 
lights front and rear. We have a suspension fork up front if you do decide to take it off-road. And of course, knobby tires for any off-road adventures. Ride One Up has also maximalized battery capacity located underneath the down tube here in the super rugged frame is a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery. So if you're truly looking to do some serious off-road adventures, the Rift is the model in the Ride One Up lineup that you wanna take a deeper dive on. And with that, I think we should jump over to the mid-drive electric bikes. These next two bikes are very exciting because these are actually affordable, quality mid-drive electric bikes. These are the Ride One Up Prodigies. We have two models in front of us. Let's talk about the XC. This bike is priced at $23.95. The XC is for cross country because it's a little bit more capable off-road. And then you have the ST, which is in front of me, as well as the XR if you want the high step model. That is priced at $22.95, though you can spend a little bit more and get an awesome chameleon colorway, which changes the color of the paint depending on the way you look at it. At the heart of both of these electric bikes are the German engineered Broza motors. These are actually motors that you'll find on electric bikes that cost much, much more, which is why when Ride One Up came out with these electric bikes, I was both surprised at what motor they're using as well as the price. Again, Ride One Up being a value priced brand. These are 250 watt motors with 36 volt, 14 amp hour batteries. And even though these motors may seem small on paper, just remember that mid-drive motors amplify the power you're putting in in a little bit of a different way. So both of these e-bikes are still capable of those class three speeds, even given their small on paper wattage ratings. Let's first give you a close up of the ST. Now, obviously this is designed as a commuter electric bike, comes with this really sleek looking rear rack complete with pannier hangers. We also have these metal fenders front and rear, thinner tires set up for street riding, lights front and rear. And some of the nice components that Ride One Up went with is the slightly upgraded Shimano Olivio nine speed instead of eight or seven that we see on many electric bikes. We have Tektro hydraulic disc brakes matching Shimano Olivio derailleur in the rear. And now jumping over to the XC model. Like Ryan had said before, this is really XC for cross country. Starting out, have to start with the tires. These are Maxxis Forecaster tires, have some very knobby tread. You still get the same Olivio components front and rear as the commuter, nine speed. And then coming up to the cockpit, we have slightly longer handlebars. We have a much shorter stem to put you in a more arched over mountain bike off-road position. We have Tektro hydraulic disc brakes as well. And then coming down to the fork, that's where the other big change is gonna come. This is an air fork and is really gonna provide a lot more tunability for whether your weight or terrain that you're riding, like we talked about on the Limited. This is gonna be tunable for any off-road terrain and really make it a very capable bike. And to sum both of the Prodigy models up, Ride One Up was one of the first brands that we saw come to the market with an affordable, high quality, high spec mid-drive bike in the low $2,000 category. With this next one, Ride One Up put other moped style electric bike brands on their heels because they offered a incredibly priced moped style electric bike. The model you see here is the FS priced at $23.95, but they also have an HT or hardtail priced at $18.95. These moped style electric bikes are one of the best value bikes on the market if you're comparing it spec to spec against its competitors. The bike comes equipped with a 750 watt motor that is peaking much higher than that, I'm sure. Check out our review so you can see the top speed, which is around 35 miles per hour. This bike is not for the faint of heart. And of course, that top speed is only achieved by signing a waiver with the company because of course, it doesn't really meet any classification of e-bike at that high top speed. At that point, it's more of a moped, so be sure to ride responsibly, especially if you're looking at the Rev1. That powerful motor is paired with a 52 volt system, the only 52 volt battery in the Ride One Up lineup. This is a 20 amp hour battery. If you get the hardtail, it's a 15 amp hour battery. In my opinion, if you can opt for the full suspension, 
It is well worth the extra battery capacity, especially if you're using that throttle a lot. And you also get, of course, the rear suspension, which improves the ride comfort. The controllers are also different depending on the model, so you're not gonna get as high top speed on the hardtail. Another thing that I really wanna call out that I haven't seen a lot of brands do on moped style electric bikes is include very high quality, I would almost call them moped quality tires. These are CST Scout tires. And again, the hardtail comes with more e-bike tires that we've seen spec'd on other electric bikes. Simple Kenda 20 by four inch tires. Huge fan of these tires. It comes with a double crown front suspension, which of course completes the look of this bike. We also have moto inspired headlight up front with blinkers left and right definitely paying attention to making this a bike that gives you a lot of presence on the road. It also has rear blinkers as well, a comfier than most rear saddle. And I just noticed that the company is selling a optional rear rack. You can also get a little case here for some additional storage. And they are also, I believe, developing an extra battery for this electric bike if you really want to go on long rides. These are also quad piston hydraulic disc brakes. You do have a slightly larger display with the Rev1 compared to the rest of the Ride 1UP models. And you also get an extremely loud horn, again, to give you additional presence on the road. Overall, the Rev1 is one of my favorite moped style electric bikes. This thing is a blast to ride. If you're in the market for a more moped style electric bike that you're using the right hand twist grip throttle a lot, this is the bike for you. It just has a single speed drivetrain, which means it's really meant for using throttle alone. All right, drum roll, please. JT, JT what is your favorite ride on up model? Before I say it, I have to put a nod to the Roadster V2 Gravel Edition. We live on gravel roads out here in Wisconsin and just hopping on that bike to ride around our property and like that, it's really a compelling bike. But given the terrain we have around here and my affinity for motorcycles, I have to go with the Rev1. The Rev1, like Ryan said, it's really a moped and my roots are in mopeds and motorcycles. So this really just has pays homage to what I love the most. Um, so I have to pick the Rev1. I know that's the easy pick, uh, but I pick the Rev1. It's just hard to find any complaints with the Rev1. Yeah. For a first generation product, Ride One Up nailed it. I'm sure they're selling a ton of these. So check out our full review and of course the links down in the description. Yep. My favorite is actually going to be the Ride One Up 700 series because when this bike first came out, they were pretty much leading in every spec, giving you a fully featured electric bike with higher quality components a slightly better derailleur, hydraulic disc brakes, racks, fenders, adjustable stem, everything. And I imagine that the 700 series, maybe until the Rev1 was their most popular model, but this is the one that is my favorite and is probably the easiest one for me to recommend because it just comes with everything. And I feel like that's what a lot of people want in their electric bike. Yeah. Full feature, not have to upgrade anything, adjustable front stem, approachable frame. The 700 series, like Ryan already said, really has everything you could need. If you're watching this and you wanna help support us, help support this video, be sure to use the links down in the description before you make your purchase. Thank you so much for your support. We truly appreciate it. Let us know your favorite Ride One Up electric bike down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and we'll, we'll see you in the see next, you guys one. In the next one.